guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today is already shaping up to be a what a day kind of day. You ever you ever finish a day and you're like, what a day? You sit down and you're like, what a day? It's, it might be shaping up to be one of those days. Obviously, we are on the road this morning. We woke up and we have been emailing an awesome dude named Steve uh, who owns a company, ASI Lighting, uh, down in Florida. Um, he does all kinds of crazy light stuff for really huge stuff, I think. Um, but he was awesome enough to kind of lay some lights out for us. Um, only stipulation was, uh, you know, to get him was going to be a little while. I'm like, you know, he's like, they're in Carlisle. I'm like, Carlisle's about two hours away. Like, that's not bad. I've driven further for less. So uh, we are on our way to go pick up, sorry for the bumps, lovely, lovely PA roads out here. Um, we are on our way to Carlisle to quick hurry up and go grab some lights. These lights are look to be some seriously awesome lights. So uh, the electrician was gonna be coming this uh, weekend, so I was like, I really wanna try and get everything done this weekend if possible. So that's where we're headed, that's where the morning is starting off. Now we do have possibly a slight detour along the way to go pick up another awesome thing, I will say. We had to take the toolbox out of the back of the bed because that's how big it is. So we might be going to pick up something else along the way too um but that's going to be the surprise of the day all then to come home to try and me and mark had set up our good buddy mark who helps us out with everything uh we were going to try and build that shelving man this is probably uh that's how bumpy the road is we were going to try and build that shelving unit on top of like the toolbox area today um later in the afternoon it's already almost 11 o'clock and we're still quite a ways away so we will definitely not be speeding or doing over the speed limit to get here but we are going to try and get there and back as quickly as possible so sit back relax enjoy the ride we'll be here for a while folks here we are stop number one back here again what could we possibly be getting this time from our ooh, friends at dirty diesels we got to make this quick guys we got to get in out I think that thing's for sale. Okay, bye. Love you, bye. That was quick. On to the next. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, boys. On to the next stop. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, back on the road. Before I mention anything about the toolbox, we're driving on the Turnpike, the Pennsylvania Turnpike here, 76, past mile marker 277. I like did a little look over, checked the toolbox, we're passing a farm, and some guy's walking. I mean, I can see him pretty far in the distance, and it looked like he was waving. I don't know if he saw the truck. Maybe it's one of you guys. I don't know. But I figured I'd mention it. You know, maybe. I don't know. I saw somebody. You know, they. they I saw them like turn their head and they wave. So, I don't know. Maybe they wave to everybody. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's whatever. 
But anyway, as you can see, we stopped and saw our good friends Josh and Aaron down at Dirty Diesels. Um, I, I had mentioned to them that I may be looking for another toolbox. They came across this screaming deal. And when I say deal, I mean like, think whatever you think I paid for the box and then just cut it in half probably. So um, they hooked me up with another toolbox. I'm busting out of the one at the shop. Um, I really need to kind of like organize that. As you guys can see, my toolbox is kind of messy, uh, somewhat because of lack of space. So the triple bank that I have now is actually completely full. Oh my gosh, we're on the bumpiest section right now. Um, but we'll go over it. It's, it's, it's really sweet. It's all blacked out. Um, so they're just awesome guys. I love those guys. So make sure you go, make sure you follow their Instagram. I think they have another actually pretty sweet Ford. Well, I say sweet Ford with the, I, I use the term loosely, but, um, that other Ford that you saw, uh, fire up, I think is for sale, you know, studded, deleted, all that happy fun stuff. Um, but go check them out. I mean, they, they, they post everything on their Instagram. So we are now on our way to Carlisle, which we're still about an hour or so away. Um, it says we're gonna get there about two o'clock and we're gonna go pick up these lights. I'm, I'm pretty pumped about these lights. They're, they're supposed to be like, like almost 3,000 lumens a piece. Or no, 30,000. I'm sorry, 24, 25, 26, something thousand lumens a piece. And we're picking up a bunch, so um, I'm, I'm super pumped. It, I, I think the shop is really gonna come together this weekend and we're gonna be like, set up you know everything minus the lift but the uh, electric is going to be there um so we're just we're just trying to really knock things out um yesterday um i actually was working on the cab quite a bit um wasn't really feeling all that well um my voice is actually kind of doing something funky right now anyway but i started cutting some more of the cowling out i got um the spot welds drilled which i'm going to go over some of that uh when we get back uh later today or tomorrow um, but made some progress on the cab, uh, just a lot of things going on. But then we are gonna rush back, meet Mark, build that little lean-to thingamajigger, and hang the cabinets on the wall, and, and by that time it's gonna be dinner time and we're gonna be, we're gonna be all over the place. So, all right guys, that's it, that's the update. Open road, cruising along, an hour later, we'll see what these lights look like. How's it going? Got your badge. What's that? Got your badge. No. Um, what are you supposed to be? I'm picking up. Um, you probably have to go to the wrong spot. I think you ran some. All right, so we are indeed in the wrong spot. We need to. I think basically turn exactly where we just came from. So hopefully we find it. All right, I think we found it. That was not too hard. The man was right, three lefts. I was getting a little worried. All right, let's find, let's find a customer pickup area here. All righty guys, we made it. I don't know how big this stuff is gonna be. I have a feeling that it's, gonna be big and we have a rather large toolbox already in our bed so <laughs> we'll see how well all this stuff fits by the way I don't not a, not a paid advertisement here but these smart straps they're kind of expensive but the more I use them they have some really nice features um, they're really like a lot heavier duty than the little throwaway like one inch ones the strap they're they're really nice and the hooks are like not really big but they're not small and chintzy it's kind of like they're kind of like the perfect size for small straps we're using three of them here to get this guy this Larry loaded up so actually a really kind of crazy place but Oh boy, let's let's hope they all fit, guys. Alrighty, boys. As you can see, we are loaded down with lights and we have a tractor trailer that keeps swerving in and out of traffic, hogging the fast lane. Um, but 
We are headed back to the shop now. We're about an hour out. Uh, Andy and Mark are already getting started on the little um, hutch. I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna call that damn thing. The little hutch, the little lean-to, the little something. But I'm pretty pumped. These things, I just got off the phone with Steve from ASI again. Uh, such an awesome dude, man. It's I, I, I think my favorite and, and the best thing about all of you know, a little YouTube thing, and then you guys, it's you guys, like, talking to you guys, like, you know, just, just awesome guys, like, awesome dudes to talk and, and BS with, and, you know, talk about trucks, and, you know, he just so happens to own a, a lighting place, he does, like, big commercial, um, you know, commercial, I guess commercial is the best way to describe it with, um, not, not like, small-time home stuff, um, again, down in Florida, if you guys need, like, a, like, a parking lot lit up, or, warehouse lit up or something but uh he's the man he was awesome and uh he kind of this is what he does and he knows a lot more than you and i probably and uh he specked it all out with the candles and whatever else and uh, he says it's gonna be bright so it's gonna be bright so awesome dude thank thank you again to him um i can't wait to see what these things look like but i'll catch back up with you guys when we get back to the shop see all righty guys four o'clock we are here we are back home we got our man mark here let's see what he's doing oh wait you can't because the windows are so tinted they've been in there making that uh, storage unit let's go see how they are making out i think I just called andrew to make sure they didn't need anything before we came back and i think he said they might need something but we'll see Hey! Alrighty guys, here is the scoop. They started assembling everything and uh, I think they measured like 10 times and uh, we still had a little boo-boo. So they're gonna run and grab some more boards um so that we can finish assembling um i got the plywood um so we're gonna build that over the toolbox thing um i'm gonna unload the lights here and yeah here's the plywood we'll be able to stack a whole bunch of stuff up top there it'll work out awesome so i'm gonna unload my truck and wait for them to get back shouldn't be too long Boys, it is, man, it is cold. It's single digits out there. It is freezing, but here we go. We got I-beam, LED, high bay, LED. So I don't wanna open these too much up, but they look like, you know, a little five by, a little two by three, three by three little squares. I'll show you guys. We'll get them open when the uh, we start unboxing them. But the general picture here. Here's the general picture, kind of what they look like. But I know the specs said. I don't know if they have the specs. They said they were like 25,000 lumens a piece, and we got eight of them. So that is going to light this place up.
electrician just left, Mark and Andy are gone. Um, it's just, just me and you guys. Um, we got a lot done today. We got a lot done today. Today started off really not how I planned today at all. Um, driving for four or five hours gets you more tired than actually staying in the shop and doing work. But went and grabbed the lights so we can finish the lights and all the electric and the outlets and everything this weekend. And Mark and Andy did some awesome work on the little loft area. Those guys really knocked it out. Um, we kind of ran into uh, perfect timing with the electrician um, so he could run everything behind there and then we can finalize and put the loft area in, get it all secured, snugged up um, against the wall, get it all situated, put the plywood on top there. Um, the electrician was working on getting all new outlets from the new panel run down here we got a couple quad outlets and we got a bunch a bunch on this back wall so way we're going to situate it is we're going to have this post here in the middle um, we're going to have one toolbox on either side and then i think um a shelving unit on either side i'm not really quite sure yet what we're going to do with this and excuse the mess the the mess is driving me nuts but um got the new toolbox situated over here um, we got the outlets pretty much when this thing is kind of pushed in its final spot there's gonna be an outlet kind of right here and right here they're right above right above the uh, toolbox so it's gonna be awesome new tool new toolbox is just looking so awesome makes me want to change the uh, trim on the other one to make it match but that is what we got done today, guys. Um, it's gonna be sweet. We're gonna have a whole, I'll be able to put even more of this uh, long-term stuff up top there. And uh, yeah, he's gonna run, he's gonna run more quad outlets down this wall. And what else, what else, what else? The lights, the lights. We got a good handle on the lights. Tomorrow we got everything back on the rollers. We're gonna have to try and roll all this stuff out in the snow because it's supposed to snow. But pretty, pretty pumped, guys. Pretty pumped. Here's what the new lights look like. These bad Larrys are gonna light this place up. And then we're also gonna do, um, I spoke to, uh, spoke to him, um, we're gonna do some lighting underneath here to kind of shine right down on the, uh, the toolbox area. So that's gonna be sweet. I'm pretty excited. I, I, I get kind of critical because uh, you know I want this stuff done as soon as possible and, and every second that I'm not hustling to get it done um, feels like wasted time but it's only it hasn't even been a week yet we've only it's only been a week and by the end of this weekend we will have the power we need we'll have the outlets that we need the only thing that we'll have left that would be icing on the cake in my opinion is the lift so we don't need the lift right away. Uh, the lift can come whenever, but um, there has been a lot of comments and stuff about the time, effort, and probably money put, getting put into this place. Now, I know most of you guys will understand that, but we're gonna be here for at least six months. Six months is quite a bit of time. It's probably gonna go by faster than I think, but six months, imagine if you're me. You're gonna be in here five to six, maybe, especially on the weekends, hours a day. We're gonna go back. We're going back to daily video. So I'm gonna spend, be spending a lot of time in here. I don't want to be uncomfortable. I want to. I want to have this place nice. I want to have it lit. I don't want to be struggling with extension cords everywhere. It, it's got to be the right atmosphere for me to want to stay here, be here, and come here and be excited to make these videos and get get work done. So it's not a waste in my opinion. Um, the way we're setting up the lights, all these lights, these nice LED lights now that we have, thanks to our man Steve, um, those are gonna come with us to the new shop, whatever it may be. The lift can be moved. It's, it's really, you know, we're not gonna be stripping the outlets off the walls, but again, it is what it is. It's an investment for the time we are gonna be here. Who knows, maybe I won't have a new shop in six months and we'll be here a year. So who knows, we don't know. But anyway, guys, I know most of you guys will understand that, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. So yesterday, just to go over the, just to go over the cab real quick yesterday, um, we got the glass out. You guys already saw that. We got all of the glue pretty much smoothed out here um, and on the back window as well. There was still a lot of glue residue and stuff. Um, we got that out. I think I actually have uh, footage of that. Um, and also we started getting the cowl a little bit more trimmed out. We got this section pretty much trimmed out and we were using our little um, saw that we got from, where did we get that from? Of course, Harbor Freight. We got our spot weld spot weld drill bit man 
it's getting late boys. Um, they actually work very, very well. I did pick up two and you can see that this whole section is loose. I will go over that drill bit. Um, that way you guys can get an in-depth person. I'll give my, I'll give my uh, in-depth review on that tool, but um, it seems to work pretty good. And that's it, just more work on the cab. Um, I talked to the fiberglass guy, I talked to Mr. Bob Coker, Coker chassis fab, um, let him know that we are just running a little bit delayed here, but he was okay with that. He's just still trying to wrap up some other things. So as soon as we're ready, he's ready and it'll work out good. Uh, we got the new cab mounts from Dodge, seeing that the other ones are just rusty and, and look like crap. So we got brand new cab mounts, new cab mount hardware. Um, and that's, that was it yesterday. Um, had a real busy day, had a couple friends, uh, stop down that I haven't seen in a while that, you know, I've been friends with and, you know, things just get busy. Um, kind of brings me to another point that I kind of want to just chat about for two seconds. Um, you know, everybody's busy. I'm, I'm, I'm an extremely busy person and a lot of times, you know, I let my schedule get in the way of maintaining relationships and it's not an easy thing to you know put aside like your your list that you want to get done to kind of spend some time with people but it, you, you hear me preach all the time about about relationships and you know maintaining them and stuff like that I feel like it's important to sometimes, you know, take a step back and even if it's for a day or two, you know, and, and just spend some time with people who, you know, you need, you need, you can't just be a one man band. But that's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You can't be a one man band. You know, all of this stuff that I'm able to get accomplished and do would not be possible it's not possible all by myself. I rely on other people, whether it's behind the scenes or people that you see, Andy, Mark, um, multiple other people, people that I have phone calls with, um, and just friends in general. I mean, like, it's just, it, it's part of it, and you, and you gotta realize that. I mean, if you uh, start turning down opportunities to hang out and spend time with other people, while it may put your list a little bit behind schedule. I feel like a lot of times it's worth it to kind of take that break, hang out with those people, maintain those relationships because you know, you, you, you can't go through life, you know, just just doing your own thing. I mean, I mean, not doing your own thing, but I guess like you you guys get what I'm trying to say. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Anyway, that's 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 my little rant for tonight. So, we spent some time with those guys, great guys. I love them. Um and yeah, we just hung out and we did get some, we got some, we got some work done on the cab. So it wasn't, it was not like we didn't get any work done. Um, so that's it. That's the spiel for tonight, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This weekend's going to be awesome. Couple more days left of the vacation. Got the new year's coming up. Got y'all new, new year, new me, new year, new me posts. Um, so get some goals, guys. That's another thing. Get, get some goals for the new year. Get some things that you want to accomplish, write them down and and get them get them in your mind i mean a lot of people say like write it down it'll it'll have a better chance of you know you really just have to have it's the mindset it's the mindset that it's not if it can happen if i can work you got to already believe that it's going to happen you like whatever it may be just say it's going to happen and just just keep that in the back of your mind and start working towards it work toward work towards one little baby step every day Man, a whole lot of motivational Greg coming at you guys tonight. I better, I better cut it off. Anyway, guys, hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys tomorrow. See you.